help, help us understand, I got to look through a nice brochure earlier that, that labeled some of the things that you guys are doing as an organization. Uh, if, what type of activities are you guys involved in? We are involved in two, two parts. For example, for us it's very important the local level and also the national level. At the national level we are part of different coalition. For example, we are part of coalition who fight for uh, women, uh, women rights and we are part of uh, network uh, against uh, violence of, uh, on women. This is a bigger organization, but also at the, the local level uh, we do different activity who uh, came from the women. For example, if the women, uh, the women want to have uh, water in the community, for us this, this is a, 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 a feminist uh, approach and we will do different kind of activity to have water in the community. For example, the, if the women, they need, uh, I don't know, if they need food in the community, we'll start to cook in the community for the, uh, for the women and for the ch children. But also from uh, with the needs from the local level, we go to the national level and we advocate for this problem. Mm -hmm. uh, for for example, we we start to be part of uh, this um, group who av advocate for a change the law uh, on uh, domestic violence, and we had a lot of uh, result there. We advocate to put in the, to have in school uh, sexual education. Also, we don't have so many success yet, but we hope to to have it more. So we we have we have uh, this campaign and we did uh, a lot of uh, uh, ID papers. But all the all our activity they are uh, they are coming from the the group, and we have these three community in Giorgio, Mizil, and uh, Valaseca near to Baco. and in this community in each community, we have one or three groups. For example, in Valaseca, we have three initiative group, and depend on uh, which part of the village they are, uh, the women they are staying, we have different approach. For example, in this uh, neighborhood, Palamida, who is uh, the most segregated from the village, and it's uh, the people from there they are uh, very poor. We have different approach, and there we try to build uh, a method who is like more like a service provider, but also. Uh, empowering the women and the younger from there. We have another group in Kukova and there the women is more like a support group. And we meet with the women, we speak about their problem and uh, they come like, I don't know, if they have problem with their partner, they c came there and they speak and uh, together they try to find solution for their personal problem. And when we have like big campaign in the community, for example, every year we do this march. We have a march in Bucharest on um, preventing the domestic violence, but also we, we, we do it in, in the community. Great. And we have also the march in 8th April when is the uh, International Roma Day. And the women come there and they are together uh, to, to the street to raise awareness about a different topic. And this is the third group, also in the Valaseca, and there it's a bit mixed because we have poor Roma women and not so poor, and they try together to 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 solve different problems. For example, it's a big level of uh, violence in school. They they are together and they are speaking with the mayor, with the uh, director of the school and different authority. And then we have Giorgio and Mizil. Uh, in Mizil, we, we start to, to have to, because in Mizil it's a bit different, different because the group is uh, more Pentecostal, the women from there, and they are very good uh, and very um, advocate the women because uh, we start to work there six, uh, six years now and they advocate to have infrastructure in, in the community for water and for asphalt. And every month they go in the local uh, co council meeting, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes just to, mo just to monitoring the, the meeting, and sometimes uh, if they have a need, they put on the agenda. And the women, uh, most of them, they are uneducated, they don't know how to read and to write, mm -hmm. but it's very important because they now they know this right, to, they, they have the, this right to be in, in this meeting, and mm -hmm. they did a protest to have uh, infrastructure in the, in the, in the community, they bring the, the mayor in the community to see the, their problem. So we had different approach and different subject. All the time they told us for what they need to, 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 to advocate. Yeah. So they, they write our agenda all the time. Even we have a subject, if they don't want to, to do uh, uh, something for this, we will not do it. 
only if it's like a must for them and they really need this uh, this approach, uh, this subject. And in Georgia, it's a bit different because the community from there is bigger, mm -hmm. and uh, the people uh, are very diff the Roma community is very divided because there are four uh, four neighborhood in the in Georgia, and there we are uh, we advocate on this topic on early marriage. We started there, and we have a like an initiative we started three years ago, and we put uh, together the the local authority like school, uh, police, uh, social services, and we and we try to uh, to fight on this phenomenon because yes, it is a phenomenon and it's affect more the the Roma girls. Even the authority and the Roma movement don't want to recognize this like a phenomenon because we don't have to speak like Roma women and Roma feminists. We don't have to speak about the this this sensitive subject, you know. Yeah. Because there are us, but we we are there and we try to advocate, but we face a lot of resistance even from the authority, even from the Roma movement, and sometimes from the community. Mm -hmm. And we try to prevent this, and we had different approach, at the, to preventing also to being we we start to have like campaign in the community with police and uh, uh, health uh, uh, school mediator and everybody and to inform the girls what are the rights and why not have to marry since uh, very early but when we have to intervene for um, very concrete uh, cases the authority uh, did like a back step and they did, they didn't want to intervene in this situation and for me and for us this is like a institution institutional racism, you know? Mm. They don't want to intervene because it's in our culture.